Cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa? <coughs> yeah, I receive a request to show how to do um uh mei xiang mui xiong mui xiong salted fish chicken cube. Yeah, that's about it. Let me see. Uh, xian yi ji li tofu and tofu stew. It's very long. It's actually a Cantonese dish where you are going to use the cube uh, a chicken thai. I have two chicken thai here. The bone. If you're lazy like me, uh, just go to the supermarket and buy your already debone chicken thai. There's two chicken thai here and I cut it into small cubes. Okay. Um, the... Uh, Actually, in, in Hong Kong or Taiwan, they remove the skin. But I'm a skin person also, so I'm going to keep the skin. So you can remove the skin if you want, it's okay. After that, you need tofu. Okay, you can see, uh, besides my wok here, I'm actually boiling my tofu. Why am I boiling my tofu? I'm actually trying to disperse the water out and make it cook. Okay, so that later it will not, it will not, uh, when I add it to my chicken, it will not be very, you know, it will not make my dish very watery. Okay, um, and the most important thing here is this Mui Hyung salted fish. Yeah, Mui Hyung is actually one of the type of the way how they do uh, salted fish. Okay, and it's very, very fragrant. Okay, I have here is this part is actually the, the egg, uh, the, sorry, the head, fish head. Okay, now let's start. The whole thing is going to be very fast. Okay, we're gonna throw in some oil. First of all, you would like to stir fry your Mui Hyung uh, salted fish to bring the fragrance out. Okay. Okay, at the same time, you can also add in your ginger and garlic. And a bit of the stems of the green onion, yeah? So now we want to use the hot oil to actually bring out the fragrance from all your ingredients here, especially the Mui Hyung salted fish. Yesterday, some, someone was asking me on, uh, on uh, how she failed to uh, control the saltiness of the fermented tofu on her meat. So she, uh, uh, she's quite worried. Now, my advice is always when you are, whenever you are dealing with anything, any condiment which is salty, you would rather to put less rather than a lot more. Huh? Because if your dish is not salty enough, it is still edible, yeah? You can just eat, add a little bit of soya sauce after it. If your dish become too salty, uh, too salty, it is definitely not edible anymore. Okay? So this is salted fish. It will be a bit um, salty in the end, yeah? So you be very careful. Wow, very, very fragrant. I hope you can smell this. I don't know why, whenever, you, when the, the, the Mui Hyung type of uh, uh, salted fish is always extremely fragrant. Okay, now we can actually add in our chicken cubes. So there's basically three things here. The first one is xian yi, salted fish, ji li, chicken, uh, chicken cube, tofu, tofu, bao, stew. Okay, so basically there are three, three items here. And in, in uh, Hong Kong and Taiwan, they will serve this dish using clay pot yeah i don't have a clay pot with me but uh yeah you all, if you all are using a normal stove of uh, a normal stove you can actually use clay pot now you started to smell the fragrance from the chicken I 
can put in the remaining of the uh, green onion. I'm telling you, it's very, very fragrant right now. Okay, you can actually add in a bit of uh, oyster sauce. Optional. Okay, it's optional. Because the most important uh, ingredient here is actually the soda fish flavor. Okay, we just want to give it a, a more uh, flavorful. Extremely flavorful. Okay, if you have stock, you can actually add your stock now. I don't have any stock with me, so I'm going to add some hot water. Look at the beautiful color coming up. Look at the nature beautiful nice brownish color coming out from this dish. You know what? This dish is almost done. That's how easy it is. Okay, now is the time we can actually transfer our tofu. I've actually added a little bit of uh, shoe, uh, sorry, salt into the boiling water here for the tofu. Okay, so we try your best to actually keep the shape of your tofu, right? So it will look much better. It's going to be like small cubes, yeah, small cubes. Everything here should be small cubes. Try your best to uh, maintain the shapes, yeah. And uh, there are, I know there are many types of tofu out there. There's traditional tofu. This is actually the smooth tofu. Um, actually, the real, the one that they uses the most is the the eggy tofu. Yeah, it's actually the eggy tofu. This is not the eggy tofu, but the smooth tofu here. Uh, you can use either one. It's okay. Don't worry. All right. If you want to use the no, the traditional pressed tofu also can. See how beautiful it is. This dish is going to come out very appetizing. When you are pushing this, be very careful. You don't want to spoil the thing. Okay. Okay. Now you can actually add more uh, green onion and your cilantro. I'll keep. I'll keep some at the end. Okay. So now, let's bring it to boil. And let it boil for at least, uh, and let it simmer for at least three five minutes, so that the flavor can start to go into your uh, your tofu. Okay, we will come back after this. You can cover the lid once it becomes once it is boiled. Okay. All right, this has been after five minutes simmering in a medium a medium high heat. Let's see what we got. Wow, I hope. You all must smell this very, very fragrant smell coming up from the ginger, garlic and the muihyong salted fish. Okay, now so let's just do a bit of uh, final seasoning and then starch it. Now be very careful when you want to season this because there is, uh, there are some uh, salted fish inside. So you, you want to test it first, how salty it is. Okay, it's already feeling salty a bit and it's very fragrant, extremely fragrant, oh my god. Okay, I will just add in a pinch of salt. Oh, wow, this is so fragrant, where's my sugar? Followed by a little bit of sugar. A 
white pepper. Okay, and a bit of Saoxing wine, optional. This is definitely optional. Okay. Alright. And now we can actually start our dish. Always don't push it too hard. You want to maintain the shape of your tofu, yeah, in cubes. Okay. You will actually look this dish will actually look better without the chicken skin. But then again, the chicken skin actually has is more fragrant than the meat itself. Okay, so I, I will keep it. Okay, now you want to starch it off the fire first. Yes, some starch water. Slowly adding in. Gently push it. Gently push it, yeah. Okay, immediately it becomes thickened and more shiny, yeah. Can you see the shiny effect? Mm -mm. This is so fragrant. I love Mui Hyung. You all should go and buy Mui Hyung soda fish, please. It is extremely flavorful. Now, let me transfer it into a separate bowl. Okay. Alright, and we are going to put the remaining uh, cilantro and uh, grease spring onion on top. Also with a little bit of goji berry, this is optional again for the sake of colour. By the way, goji berry is actually good for men. Eh? You can actually eat it like a tibbit. Alright, let me see. Let me try and put this here. Okay. How oh, you can see clearly? Alright, yep. Zoom in for you. Okay, so if this is my uh, salted fish chicken cube tofu stew. Okay, so if you like my video, do share out on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click both the like and following button. Go to Cooking Appa YouTube channel to click the subscribe button and notification button and watch all my other 100 over videos over there and follow Appa's Instagram. Alright, thank you very much. I hope you all like my video. Bye-bye.